Hi everyone, Ms. Roper here. I realized the other day that in the midst of starting a virtual classroom, amidst all the craziness of us trying to figure out what we're doing with COVID, with school, with everything, I never really got to explain to you why I'm teaching this class or why this is important for you. And I think that that's something that you deserve to know and that you need to know. I believe strongly that reading is how we understand the world around us. So let me talk a little bit about, let me talk a little bit more about that. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well today. Um, I believe that reading is how we build empathy. It's really the only way that we have of getting, getting inside someone else's head. And yes, we have movies, we have music, but reading is a very specific kind of walking in someone else's shoes. Not only do you get to see what's going on in their head, but you get to see their actions. Then you get to see those responses to that action. Um, you're constantly hearing someone's inner dialogue and that can help us build empathy, which is being able to feel for another person and understand their situation in the way that they understand it. Now, this is different from sympathy, which is basically just, I'm sorry, I feel bad for you. That situation really sucks, right? Empathy is us saying, wow, that situation really sucks. You must be feeling X, Y, Z. You must be acting like this, this, and this. Empathy helps us to relate. It's how we relate. Sympathy is feeling bad for someone. Empathy is relating to someone. And reading helps us build that. Uh, let's take Telltale Heart, for example. I don't know what it's like to be a murderer. I've never killed anyone. I hope that you don't know what it's like to be a murderer. That, yeah, I hope so. Um, but reading Telltale Heart gives us this view inside, sort of this obsession, right? And these really strong feelings that lead this man to kill someone else. And then we get to understand the guilt and the torment that he goes through internally after that. There's not really another way that I would be able to understand this character. If someone was just telling me about him, oh yeah, hey, this thing happened, like it was a news report, I would be shocked and appalled and disgusted. But reading about it, I can kind of see why he did what he did. I don't agree with him. I don't think he should have done that. But I can at least understand his reasoning, right? So reading helps us to build empathy. And empathy helps us to be better people. When we understand the people around us, we can show more kindness, more grace to them, right? It's really hard for us to be graceful towards someone and kind to someone that we think is in the wrong. But if we can develop that empathy, that putting ourselves in their shoes, it helps us to relate, to be kinder, to show more understanding, right? So if reading helps us to understand the world around us, helps, to us, helps us to understand the people around us, I believe that writing puts us in that conversation. It's how we communicate with the world around us. When we read, we develop empathy. When we write, we're allowing people to develop empathy with us. We're giving them the avenue to look into our lives, to look into our thoughts, to look into our hearts and say, okay, I kind of get that, right? Everyone comes to life with a different point of view. We've gone through different experiences. We think in different ways. My siblings and I lived in the same household and we're completely different people. We think completely different things about the world because we see it through different eyes. Um, so I think that reading is really important. If it's something you hate, I get that. But I'm going to try to find a way to make you not hate it. I'm going to try to find a way that works for you. Because I truly believe this is something important. This is something we need as people. This world needs more kindness. And reading is how we develop that, how we develop that empathy. All right, folks, I hope that helps. Um, I hope I wasn't just rambling. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good day.